the subphylum vertebrata is classified under phylum chordata. This phylum includes animals with a notochord in the embryonic stage, which is later replaced by a vertebral column. Hence, all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Based on the presence or absence of jaws, vertebrates are classified into two divisions, agnatha and gnathostomata. Agnatha includes jawless vertebrates, while gnathostomata includes jawed vertebrates. Agnatha has just one class, cyclostomata. These jawless vertebrates live in a marine habitat and are ectoparasites on some fish. Cyclostomes have an elongated body with 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. However, their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. They have a sucking and circular mouth, a cartilaginous cranium, and a vertebral column and a closed circulatory system. The life cycle of cyclostomes is unique. They migrate to fresh water to spawn and die within a few days, leaving their larvae, which after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Petromycin and myxine are examples of cyclostomes. Gnathostomata or jawed vertebrates are divided into two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Pisces is further divided into two classes, Chondrichthyes and Osteichthyes. Chondrichthyes are marine fish with a streamlined body and a cartilaginous endoskeleton. Interestingly, the notochord is persistent throughout their lifespan. Their skin is tough due to the presence of minute placoid scales. In fact, their teeth are modified placoid scales. Unlike other fish, their gill slits are separate and the operculum is absent. Moreover, the absence of the air bladder forces them to swim constantly to remain buoyant. These fish are cold-blooded or poikilotherm and have a two-chambered heart with one auricle and one ventricle. They also have powerful jaws that make them good predators. Some of them also have an electric organ or a poison sting to protect themselves from predators. Chondrichthyes are dioecious and the pelvic fins in males have claspers. Fertilization in these fish is internal and many of them are viviparous. Carcharinus, Scoliodon, Pristis, and Trigon are examples of this class. The next class within Pisces is Osteichthyes. These are marine and freshwater fish with a streamlined body and a bony endoskeleton. Their skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales. These fish have four pairs of gills, which are covered by an operculum and an air bladder, which maintains buoyancy. They too are cold-blooded and have a two-chambered heart. Osteichthyes are dioecious and fertilization is usually external. They are largely oviparous and exhibit direct development. Hippocampus and Exocetus 
a marine fish, while Labio, Catula, and Clarius are freshwater fish. While some fish like Beta and Pterophyllum are used in aquariums. The remaining four classes are placed under the superclass Tetrapoda, which means animals with limbs. Amphibians are adapted to aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Their body is divided into a head and trunk. While most of them have two pairs of limbs, some don't have a tail while others do. Their skin is always moist and lacks scale. Their eyes are covered by eyelids. Behind the eyes is a pair of tympanum, which represents the ears. In amphibians, the alimentary canal and urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called the cloaca, which opens to the exterior. Adult amphibians breathe through lungs and skin, while the larvae breathe through their exterior gills. These animals are cold-blooded with a three-chambered heart. In amphibians, the sexes are separate and fertilization is external. They are oviparous and exhibit direct or indirect development. Bufo, Rana, Hyla and Salamandra are common examples of this class. The next class, Reptilia, includes animals that creep or crawl. Reptiles are largely terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin and epidermal scales or scutes. They have external ear openings and the tympanum represents the ear. Except for snakes, reptiles have two pairs of limbs. Reptiles are cold-blooded and usually have a three-chambered heart. However, crocodiles have a four-chambered heart. Some reptiles, such as snakes and lizards, shed their skin. In reptiles, the sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and exhibit direct development. Some common reptiles are Chelone, Testudo, Chameleon, Crocodilus and Naja. The next class is Aves, which consists of birds. Members of this class are characterized by feathers. Their forelimbs are modified into wings, while their hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or clasping. Although most birds can fly, some like the ostrich, kiwi and penguin have structures that make them incapable of flying. These birds have a fully ossified or bony endoskeleton. However, their long bones are hollow due to air cavities. This makes their bodies light and adapted to flying. Moreover, except for oil glands at the base of the tail, they possess no other glands due to which their skin is dry. Birds use beaks to eat. The food then reaches the digestive tract, which has a crop and a gizzard, which are additional chambers. Birds are warm-blooded or homeotherm with a four-chambered heart. They respire through lungs and air sacs connected to their lungs supplement respiration. 
In birds, the sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and exhibit direct development. Malurus, Corvus, Columba, Cetacula, Struthio and Pavo are some common examples. The last class under subphylum vertebrata is Mammalia. Mammals are found in a variety of habitats, polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands and dark caves. These vertebrates have certain unique features such as mammary glands which produce milk and hair on their skin. They also have two pairs of limbs and one pair of external ears or pinnae along with different types of teeth to tear, bite, cut and crush. Mammals respire through lungs. They are warm-blooded and have a four-chambered heart. In mammals, the sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous. However, some are oviparous and exhibit direct development. Panthera leo, canis, macaca, camellus, boss, and delphinus are viviparous mammals, while ornithorhynchus is an oviparous mammal. Each class under subphylum vertebrata can be distinguished based on certain morphological and anatomical features.